Alright guys, welcome back. This is the, I don't know, 19th video, I think? Um, financial charting within Python and Matplotlib. What we did last time was actually define our RSI function. Not positive it's going to work just yet, but I think it will. And uh, so now what we want to do is actually, um, you know, take this returned relative strength index and plot it. So we've already made the space for it. And actually, let's just run this real quick and make sure it runs. Yeah, okay, so at least we don't have a syntax issue. Um, and, you know, we've got the space for RSI, but we don't actually have anything there. So let's scroll down here. And this is our area for RSI. Now... So scroll down to your, uh, you know, axis zero, right underneath your definition of axis zero. That's where we'll begin. Um, first off, we'll say RSI equals RSI function. And you do this on closed prices um, or adjusted to close, depending on what you've got. The next, AX zero dot plot. And we want to go ahead and plot date RSI. And let's just do that real quick. And then we'll just throw a random color to it and... Make sure everything worked. Cool. All right, there is our RSI plotted on here. We will change the color in a second, or maybe we'll just leave it here and then eventually get to changing it. I don't know, I haven't decided. Anyway, you can look at the digits and see, okay, it looks like everything's between uh, zero and 100, so that's, that's a good start. Um, so the next thing we might wanna do uh, maybe just have two grid lines, one for 70 and one for 30, um, and then get rid of like all these things over here. But anyway, it looks like our function for RSI did indeed work, so that's good, party. Uh, another thing we might want to do is ax0.set underscore ylint and make this 0 to 100. Now the reason you obviously you want to do that is because that is the range. Um, so you always kind of want to look at it with that in mind. So there we go. Um, now let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, close out of this and stop the program. So let's see, now we're at uh, this point here. And well, the next thing I think that we should probably do is um, maybe fix the color of the RSI line and then also let's fix this legend. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll continue compounding on the RSI um, drawing in probably the next video. So the first thing we wanna do is scroll down uh, to AX1 where we've got this legend going on here. And I think instead what we'll do is we'll say um, MA legend for, or MA leg for MA legend um, equals that. And then what we wanna do is say ma leg dot get underscore frame empty parameters oops nothing in there. dot set underscore alpha and for this we'll do 0 0.4 and so yeah, let's do that let's run that real quick cool okay so now you see that you know we've kind of like made it a little more transparent just in case it does cover over data and the next thing we need to do is we can't really read what those uh, numbers are, so let's change that. So I guess run underneath here, do uh, pylab.setp in text. Uh, oh, actually, shoot. Let's do, um, we'll do text ed equals pylab.gca empty parameters dot get legend and then here you do or dot get text so that pulls out the text for us and then down here you can use pylab dot set p uh, text ed and in here you basically say like uh, an array of text that you want so right now we only have two things um, but just to protect ourselves we'll do like five <laughs> just to be uh, safe, just in case we add any extra uh, moving averages. And then color, we'll, we'll just color them white, right? So they're a little easier to understand, or see. And then this means at the top, I don't think we ever imported PyLab. Nope. So now we want to import PyLab, save it, run it. 
if that works out for us. Cool. So now you can see that you know we've fixed this. So in case it is covering data, now you can read the uh, moving averages a little easier now. Um, the only thing I would change is the actual moving averages. Let me see if I can find them. Can't remember. Yeah, we did put them in here. So let's do 20 and 200 for those moving averages now. So that run it. All right, cool. So now that we've got we've got that you know kind of working out for us now. Um, I think what I'll do is cut off the video here, and in the next video I'll be showing you guys um, probably change this color to the same color as volume. We'll get rid of all these ticks over here. Just do a uh, 70 and a 30, and then just like draw like a line across it. So it'll make the RSI a lot easier to read. And so I think that's what we'll do for the next video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.